services. I had a family of three kids myself, by the way. I used to be an actor when I was young, and I know what being poor is like and doing all sorts of jobs to keep them, which I did, by the way. Pretty filthy jobs. But I'm not going to condemn people. There are people who are at fault. There are families that are in what the Tories once called the cycle of deprivation, which I worked in as a project, by the way. Mm -hmm. The facts are that we are turning on each other. And we have too many interviews of the sort we're getting. We had Nolan last night. We have people who crawled over from talk sport, those, those denizens of the night with their right-wing views and, and the curries of this world. Enough of it, I say. Enough. Let's concentrate on the people that have caused these depression, caused these problems. If you want to go into specifics, okay. Who sold off good social housing on the cheap? That was what was once my party, New Labour, sold it off on the cheap. We are where we are, though, as they say, John. I mean, you we're make, you make some are, interesting we points. We should not mm. be attacking these people to the extent we're attacking them. We're still in where we are, where we are, mm. still not dealing with the bankers, still not d dealing with the tax evaders at the top of the tree. Thanks for listening to me, Nicky. I'm 76 now. I can manage... But by God, sometimes I wish I was no longer in this life to see the way we're behaving to each other. You find it very depressing, do you? I find it exceedingly depressing. Okay. Exceedingly depressing. I've got members of my family who don't earn a great deal and resent the fact that there are people who don't try. We know that. But we also know, as, as the bishop said last night and the gentleman was on today, again, where do most of these sort of handouts go to? Back into the hands of profiteers. Back into the get back into the hands of people to whom council housing was sold off, so they could make a profit from it. It's great to hear a, a, a bit of um, heartfelt radicalism, John. Uh, and well, you, you no, put it I very well. Radical. I don't know where we're going to go. I don't see quite where we're going to go. I remain a Marxist. I don't see which way we're going to go. How it's going to work? I despair. But thank you for listening to me. You, sir, are a gentleman. I like your programmes, but sometimes I despair of what's going on on them at the moment. Well, thank you very, very much. Thank you for calling us. Carol, are you a Marxist? <laughs> no, I'm a Christian. Um, I, but I agree with what that um, gentleman has said, actually. Of liberation theology. But anyway, carry on. Yes, you, you agree well, with what he said, do you? Well, well my, 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 um, I get very cross because these bishops and everybody else are using children as a weapon. And I can tell you, if you gave a £1,000 a week to some families, those kids would still not be fed properly, not be clothed properly, because it goes on bingo, it goes on beer, it goes on cigarettes. It, I mean, most of these people have um, the internet, Sky. I have none of those. I'm a pensioner. I owe no money to anybody. I've bought my own house and I'm a widow. And um, I've done everything that people say you should do. I've got savings and I get no interest on them. I, I pay tax. And I know people that are working the system. And if they can't manage on £500 a week, then I'm sorry. You know, the government's not there to support every family who doesn't want to work. Chris in Atherton, how do you react to that characterisation that we're hearing from Carol? Well, I don't agree with her at all. I, there are people like that. There are people in that. I've always believed I'm 66. There's always people who will be work shy. Unfortunately, there's, I don't see what we can do about that. But you cannot... You cannot punish the children for the people who don't want to work. And anyway, if they do, if the route out of poverty, I accept, as William Beveridge said, the route out of poverty has two points. One is full employment, but I cannot see that you'll ever get full employment because Errol Wilson once said in the 1960s, in order to keep the capitalist system going as we knew it then, I presume the figure will be high now, but he said you needed a pool of unemployed of a half a million people. That figure now might be two billion or two million, sorry, I don't know. The other point is the route out of poverty is work, correct. Unfortunately, the jobs that they're offering these people are paying this stupid, silly minimum wage which won't buy you anything. It's a ridiculous amount of money, this. It should be far higher. It should be double what the, what the system is now. That should be double to give people an incentive to get out and go and work. John Tarot. Well, if you, if you doubled the minimum wage, you certainly would find that very large numbers of unskilled and semi-skilled jobs would simply disappear and there will be, lar be a large number more people on the dole. If that's what your previous caller wanted, um, fine. It's just... 
bears no relationship to economic reality. I mean, it's lovely to say we, you know, everything should be doubled, all wages should be doubled, but it's economic garbage, and let's not waste time on it. Um, it, it is, frankly, it is economic garbage. I hear these large sides down the phone. Well, Where does the garbage. money come from? It isn't, sir. It's not garbage, sir. Fine. You know, you're entitled to your view. No, right? it's not a question of my views. Where do you think the money... You know, I mean, we're getting into a rather silly argument here, well, but where, yeah, do you I, think I the mo- where do you think the money would come from to double the national minimum wage? It would come from people losing their jobs. No, it wouldn't. I, I, I don't see the correlation whatsoever. If, if these people who are, who, are, who are employing people cannot afford to pay a proper wage, then I question why they're employing people in the first place. Well, that way. is what I'm saying. People will be well, unemployed. Be. More Let's people will be unemployed. If that's well, what you let's, want, let's, you're, you're, you're advocating a very sensible well, policy. Let's yeah. nationalise certain industries. Let's nationalise them, give them back to the government to give work for the people so that they're run by the people, for the people. Yeah, and I, rem- I remember those good old days. I was an, no, indus- I was an industrial days, correspondent throughout the 60s, 70s and well, 80s, mean, and I remember how much poorer people were in those days. No, no, I remember no, no, how yeah. all the uh, industries were run in those days. If Even the Labour Party doesn't want that anymore. Enver Solomon. Enver Solomon, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Enver, Enver, Director of Policy at the Children's Society, let me put a point to you that's coming through on the texts yep. uh, this morning, if I may. Please do. Um, you're saying £26,000 is uh, it's not enough, certainly not enough in London, but some people are saying, well, it's, it's more than enough in Oldham. £26,000 in, in Inverness is a very different issue for £26,000 yes, in London. True, yeah. So do you think that £26,000, um, should be kind of, there should be some London waiting? I mean, do you think it's enough in, in Dundee? Um, well, it, 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 it depends on Dundee, uh, how many children you're talking about and the cost of housing there and the situation. We have A to lot take less than London. Yeah, but there, there, that, this is the case with, with all kinds of calculations, isn't it, Nikki? There will be great differences. There will be rents much cheaper in one end of the country and far higher on the other end of the country. We, we have to take an average. Otherwise, you have a regional system of benefits, which I think would cost vast amounts of money. But they to, are astronomical in London. To, mm. to, they, they are astronomical, and, that, and that's, as I said earlier, a, a, a problem b- related to the lack of affordable housing. Um, right. and, and the reality is that that needs to be addressed, and this isn't the means of addressing that. Um, this needs to be uh, set at a level which isn't uh, unfairly punishing people, and it needs to be set at a level which reflects average working income, as I said earlier, and it needs to be set at a level which is not going to result in children being pushed into poverty. The own the DWP's own analysis shows that it could lead to up to 100,000 children being well, pushed into poverty. That was a leaked letter, wasn't it? Those, that is data that is based on modelling done by DWP analysts. And we have a Prime Minister who said he wanted to make poverty history. Well, this is not the way to make poverty history, child poverty history. Thank you very much, Amber. Thank you, John Turo. Thank you all the callers thus far. It's uh, more to come. 0500 909 693 85058 is the government right to cap benefits. It's your call. Hello, Gloria. Hello. Hello, Aurora. Hi. Aurora, over to you first. Um, well, it's a joke, isn't it? It's an absolute joke. I mean, the country's on its knees, and they're going to cap benefits uh, to £26,000. I mean, oh, they're going to save so much money, aren't they? That's ridiculous, isn't it? They're, they're not going to save any money. There, there aren't people who get over £26,000 in benefit. Hardly anybody gets over £26,000 in benefit. Why don't they start targeting the rich people? That's where they're going to save money, not by targeting the poor people. Who gets over £26,000 in benefit? A couple of Somalian families with six kids, a couple of British families with six kids. That's about it. The amount it's going to cost, in administration to put all this through, they won't even break even because they're not going to save any money there. Gloria. Why don't they target the rich people? That's where they're going to get their money if they start going after the rich people. But, oh, no, they won't do that, will they? Because that's their mates. That's their friends, all with the silver spoons in their mouths. They're not going to target the rich bankers because that's their best buddy who sits with them at the dinner table. If there are... If there are... No, uh, very few people getting over £26,000 in welfare benefits. Why do the children's societies argue that 210,000 children will be affected by the changes and 70,000 adults? 
210,000 children will be affected. Yeah, and 70,000 adults. I don't, if, I don't know whether they, the I don't children's know whether they so, get their... Fig- well, that's no. the children's... So, that's the, those are people who are arguing against the, this benefit cap. No, I can't see that. I can't see that children are going to be affected because benefit is cut to £26,000. Well, they say that that there's a significant amount, there must be a significant amount getting more than that if 210,000 are going to be, children are going to be affected by the cap. Gloria, do you want to come in? Um, This is one of the not very rich people around Daventry. Um, My husband, I was telling you, my husband's worked over 30 years the same place, skilled manual worker, £21,000 a year. And we've managed, when my children, when I first had my two children, you didn't get child benefit. You you struggled. You didn't go and drink. You didn't smoke. All these people on these magical benefits. Why don't they give up something? I mean, at the moment we're having to give up a lot. What are you sacrificing, Gloria? Well, at the moment I can't work because, well, it doesn't matter why I can't work. No, it doesn't matter. Well, you don't have to tell us. But to, what, what sort you of things? That when you you know, just tell us. Uh, give us an idea of the kind of things that well, you have. Well, let's put it this way. Um, our, our little luxury of a weekend was to go for a ride, say, around Stowe, you know, the local area. Mm-hmm. We can't do that now because mm-hmm. my husband has to pay £40 a week just to go eight miles up the road and back every week. Mm-hmm. I mean, we haven't got a big car. We've got, a, we've got a quite a good car because he has to have a reliable car because he's not a mechanic. So your message is live within your means? Yeah. Aurora, I mean, it's, it's, what about... It's a marvellous what, conception, isn't it? What about Aurora? What about that message from Gloria? I, I think, um, you know, you can be happy on nothing. You can be happy on, on very, very little. You don't need very much at all in life. But, you know, I mean, some people smoke, some people drink. I'm not judgmental, you know. I, uh, I think, uh, you know, everybody, everybody's out there to, just to be happy. And uh, if you've got nothing, then why, you know, why, are the, why, are the, why is it that the rich people are just sat there happy as Larry, and they're not having to dig into their pockets. But they're not and as happy as Larry are... Rand here. I well, know rich you're... people are on their knees, but I mean, I, I don't know yeah, no, anybody else. I'm talking about very, very rich people. I'm talking <clears throat> about, you know, the rich people, the billionaires, the millionaires. You know, why know aren't they digging into their pockets? Why aren't they putting the money on the table? Why is it always that it's the poor people? Graham in Manchester. Then, it's not such a thing as... as I mean, there, I mean, in the city, there are poor. Wait a minute, Graham. Wait, wait, bring Graham in. Graham, you've been on benefits since, for how long? Uh, since 2007. What do you think about this cap? Um, well, the cap, uh, obviously, I think is a good idea because my main point is that I'm going to reapply for my benefits uh, in September this year, mm-hmm. and I expect it will be reduced. I will not complain about it being reduced. We all have to do our bit. It's due to a bad economic situation. Why should I not suffer? I mean, you, how far away from work do you live? You don't have to tell me, I know, but you have to have a car, you have to pay for it, it costs you a lot more money than I spend on cars. You pay more tax than you did two years ago. Why shouldn't I have to pay something as well? Why should you be, uh, be, be, be affected by me getting away with doing nothing and you suffer all the pain? Hey, I'm a Democrat. We live in a democracy. We should all pay our share. Solomon, what's your situation, sir? Hi, Nikki. Um, the, 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 the situation is that um, because I'm from the migrant background and uh, most of the uh, debate on the benefit issues tend to um, be focused on us sometimes. Uh, but um, I've lived here for 12 years, and within that uh, first 11 years, I've oh. never been entitled to any benefit. And I never try to apply it for one, because the, there are stringent um, systems and measures in place to prevent anybody getting the benefit who is not entitled to. And when I applied for child benefit for my daughter, it took about four months back and forth writing, feel this, feel that, you know, or countless details. Sometimes you are even discouraged to go ahead with it. You know, so um, we started getting child benefit, but our housing benefit, we only got three pounds a week, you know, because I work and my wife work, although um, my wife works on a part-time basis. What do you so do at the we, moment? What, what's your work at the moment? Uh, myself, because I'm an, I'm an accounts clerk. Right. Yes, so, but also to, to come to the jobs um, area as well. Can I ask, can I, you don't, absolutely don't have to tell me, can I ask what your combined income is? Uh, it's around about 28. So, so how do you feel about the fact that some people are getting more than that and they're not working? 
Well, you know, you, you would not, you, you obviously find it a bit uh, uncomfortable. But then, um, I, I think, if, as the, the the gentleman from the children's welfare was saying, uh, we have to bring in the kids in place because um, some of the benefits might actually be making.